What's going on, everybody? It is y'all. Boy. Welcome in the Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews. Of course, you know who I am. I am Mr. Fat Boy. I got a brand new release to go with y'all. Another freshie for freshie week. Freshie week three, baby. Keep this thing going. So excited, but I can't wait to share it with you. But if you are new, and man, did we break the record. We shattered the monthly record of last of my best month ever. Thank you so much to subscriber base. Let's continue this. We're over 2,400. We're almost at 2,500 spot. I got a really good feeling that we could hit 20, we could hit 3K by August, which would be my second full year in uh, doing YouTube videos. That's an amazing accomplishment. Thank you so much. I owe it all to y'all. Thank you for appreciating my hard work. All right, baby. Today, we are talking about a brand new release from 2022 from Hugo Boss from the Boss Bottle line. We'll get all up in it. I'll show you where it ranks among my other Boss Bottles, too, at the end of the video. But before, like I said before, hit the like and subscribe. Get them notifications because I put in the work video every single day. You get some from your boy, the hardest working man in this fragrance game. The straight freestyle king of this fragrance game. No edits, no do-overs, one take and one take and we get it right. Whew. Let's get this party started. And you know how we do it, baby. We don't need no salad. We don't need no dessert. All we need is some straight steak and beans. Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews starts now. Baby, we are back. Let's get all up in it. Like I said, today we're doing a review from the house of Boss Bottle. And here's the box. It is called Boss Bottle Marine. Now, I thought I bought this a couple weeks ago, weeks ago when I bought Boss Bottle Impotent, but I had the wrong one. I'll get all up in them. I'll show you my favorites from that line that I have. I think you might want to check out too. But today we're reviewing this bad boy freshie right here. Marine usually means the freshie. Let's go ahead and check it out. Get my full review, get my feelings on it. But first, let's check out the bottle and then we'll pull the notes up and see what we got, baby. All right. There's the bottle. Beautiful matte bottle. I like that matte feeling it has on there. Classic Boss Bottle look. All Boss Bottles, for the most part, had the note of apple in them. They just do something different with it, for the most part. Let's talk about this one now. On the opening, we have an apple, mint. In the middle, you have cinnamon, clary sage. And in the bottom, you have cashmere wood and patchouli. So apple, mint in the opening. Clary sage and cinnamon in the middle. And in the dry down, you got some patchouli and some cashmere. Cashmere wood, baby. This seems super inviting. This fragrance seems like it's a designer style of fragrance that doesn't fall, go too far away from the Boss Bottle DNA. Let's find out. Let's put it on the skin. Put it in the air. All right, baby. Woo! Woo! Wow. The patchouli definitely gives this a sea kind of vibe to it, ocean vibe, not a dirty ocean vibe. Kind of this is a little, maybe a little dirty ocean vibe with a mint, apple, cinnamon vibe in there too. Oh man, the patchouli does wonders for this fragrance. I think it does an amazing job. I'm starting to appreciate patchouli more and more if it's done right. So on the opening, I am getting that apple and that cinnamon. And that mint. The mint kind of is more in the air than it is on the skin. But that's more like what mint usually does. It's a very light, uplifting kind of note. Oh, man. It is beautiful. I'm not going to lie. It's like a fresh can of salty, minty, cinnamony, apple-y air. Sea air. I love it. I love this one. I picked up this one and a couple other ones. And so far, 
This one is probably one of my favorite pickups of the year to go along with Polo Blue Parfum. This one I really, really like. I picked mine up from Dillard's or Macy's, I'm sorry. Right now, you can get this on sale at Macy's with 15% off. That sale ends tomorrow. Check it out. Or it's already ended. Maybe it's ended. I think it's May 5th it ends. If you want to sample this, go to fatboyfragrance.com. I'm sure there's some kind of promo on the homepage where you can take advantage of a good discount. Always a promo, always something going on at fatboyfragrance.com. Support your boy where the customer is always right, baby. All right. Boss Bottle Marine. Beautiful opening. The patchouli really, to me, is the star. But the apple, the cinnamon, and the mint really work well together. <sighs> Does it far stray far away from the DNA? No. But the patchouli, to me, takes it enough far away where it is different from the other ones in my collection. Oh, I love this fragrance. It smells inviting. It has that little bit of uh, kind of nastiness to it. Not nasty, but kind of griminess that I like. It's what I think Redbrook Parfums should have pulled off and it didn't with those kind of notes. I'm not saying this smells as bad as Redbrook Parfums as it has a little bit of that vibe, but it's from the patchouli. Oh, man. I love this fragrance. It definitely screams it's a marine fragrance. A lot of fragrances claim to be marine fragrances. This one literally is. I feel like I've been transported to the ocean and I got an apple and I got mint and I got cinnamon and I got a little bit of cashmere wood all wrapping up around me and I feel great. Okay, let's find out. This one gets my full seal approval or not. First of all, performance. Check the box, baby. Freshy that gives you six to seven hours. Two to three hours of projection. Bam. Wow, wow, wow. Let's spray it in the air one more time. Oh, I get the mint and the apple much more better in the air. Oh, it's definitely a very aromatic fragrance. When you walk by, you're going to leave a beautiful scent trail. So check the box for performance. Does the wifey like it? Do people like it? I actually was complimented twice on this fragrance. Unsolicited. And the wifey did like it. So check the box. It is a fantastic fragrance to wear. Amazing as far as if you're looking for performance and likability or wanting to get noticed. And third, do I like it? This one's going to get an early hype seal approval for me. I'm hyping it right now. Boss Bell Marine, probably the best of the flankers. I'm going to rank them here in a second. The ones I have, you let me know what your favorite is. But 100% Fat Boy Seal approval, no doubt. Want to sample it? Fatboyfragrance.com. Want to buy it? Go to Macy's. Or wait till it gets discounted. But these don't get discounted that much. All right. That's it, baby. Let's talk about the ones now. This one's my favorite, I think, right now. My least favorite of the bunch would be Boss Bottled Absolute. This one is more of a winter fragrance, in my opinion. Definitely a little heavier, but got a really nice note of apple, but it has a little funk to it that I really can't pick out what it is. Boss Bow Absolute. All right, next one, my least favorite. The next one on the list. So that's my least favorite going towards my favorites. Boss Bow United. It's a lot like Unlimited, but not as nice. Performs better than Unlimited, but not as nice as smelling. Man, it is pretty, though. The more I smell it, this is kind of your bluish boss bottle with the known apple. More of a blue to Chanel vibe with apple and mint. Well done on that department. Slept on, in my opinion. And this big bad boy is one is next. So this one is probably my third favorite. And that is Boss Bottled Infinite, the brand new one. Look at the size of that bottle. Man. Oh, woo! I caught it. No edits, baby. Oh, hold on. Woo. Woo. That was close. That. Oh, that was close. I didn't drop it. I'm not going to edit that out, baby. No edits. Boss Bottled Infinite. There's a good look at that big old bottle. I'm going to put this on my skin. I'm going to kind of smell it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, Boss Bottled Infinite is that more of a 
easy reach kind of boss battle, any situation boss battle, really nice too. Okay, my, no, my second favorite, Boss Battle Unlimited. Because it has that mint vibe, really heavy mint vibe with an apple note, but also you get this kind of Ambroxan kind of, uh, like if you took Invictus, oh, it smells so good. Take Invictus, mint, and apple is what you get. I love this fragrance. The only problem with this one doesn't perform. I wish it performed better. It'd be number one. But number one to me is Marine. I'm digging Marine right now. Maybe because it's new, but I like Marine the most. So that's all my boss bows. Let me pick them up and show them to you. We're not dropping them. Oh, I almost dropped it again. There they are. Let me know what your favorite boss bottle is. Let me know what you think about this fragrance. That's it, baby. I hope y'all have a great week. Thank you so much. Y'all stay safe and y'all stay well. And if you smell good, baby, and you feel good, baby, then it's going to be all good. Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews is out.